Hi, my name is Alejandro Yegros. I'm the maker of Conjuguemos, and this is a tutorial on the roster page for teachers, which is where teachers can manage their students and their classes. If you want to jump around, I indexed the video on the comment section. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to talk about classes. Uh, classes can be found here on the left hand side. As you can see, I have two classes, honors and intermediate. These are all my students. Unassigned means these are uh, students that I haven't uh, put in any class. And then these are the students in these two classes. Um, there are two purposes to classes. The first purpose is to organize your roster. As you can see, I have 867 students. If I only want to see the intermediate one students, I click on intermediate one. And now I'm only seeing the 36 students that I assigned to intermediate one. You can see their class assignment right here. Um, the other purpose of classes is to restrict what students can see. Uh, all of my intermediate one students when they log in are only going to be able to see the activities that I assigned to intermediate one classes. In order to create a class, pretty simple, I just click this button, add class, and then I type in the class name, new class, I press create and you're going to see it right here and it has no students. Um, this little three dot menu on the side you can uh, rename or delete a class. If you press delete class that is not going to delete the students within the class. It's going to delete the class name and then all the students that used to be there are going to become unassigned. Now for adding students, you add students by pressing Add Students. Students can also register themselves, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. But if you want to add students yourself, when you click there, it's going to give you two choices. You can add them manually, or you can do the automated uh, lineup. When you do add manually, pretty simple. You just add in all the information yourself, last name, first name, username, and password for everybody. Automated, uh, it's a little different. Automated, you would paste your students below. So, I don't know, Sarah Thomas, Billy Jordan, something like that. Password, this would be the password for all of them. I usually do that password, Wildcats. Uh, and then when you press submit, all of these students are going to get a, a random username from the site, which is going to be in the target language. For example, Perro Amable 134. And then you would be able to print out that list and give it to your students. Now, if you want the students to register themselves, they would go to the website and they would click on sign up and then students and they would end up in a page like this where they would type in their name and their username and password. And then down here, it would ask them for their teacher code. The teacher code is something that is in your area and you would give to them. Here's the teacher code in your roster page. This is my own teacher code. If you click on it, it appears really big. You can give that to your students and when they register, this, uh, this is optional, but if they choose to put the teacher code here, they're going to end up when they log in in a page like this. It's, you can see that they're assigned to me. There's my name. But currently they are unassigned as far as a class because they're not in any class. You can either assign them to a class yourself on, a, on your end or they can click on join teacher class and they can join one of your classes from their own end if you want. If they did not enter a teacher code on their end, when they log in they're going to end up in a page that looks like that. It says, hey, do you need a teacher? They click on that button. And then they can select a teacher here. It says you have no teacher. They can type their code in now. Or uh, they'll be able to click here. They don't have a teacher code. They'll be able to search by state and by school. Now, one last thing I'll say about adding students. There's two settings here that you might want to use. Uh, disable class change and disable student registration. Sometimes students start switching around all the time, and you might want to prevent that. So if you press disable class change, that button that I showed you which join class is not going to show up for them so they won't be able to switch. And this is disable student registration is to prevent any more students from joining your class if you want. Okay, 
Now I'm going to talk about how to assign students to a class. For example, this girl right here, Becca, she's unassigned. If I want to assign her, I can click on edit. Here I can also edit her name, but I can click on assign. I'm going to assign her to my intermediate one class. I click update student. And as you can see, she is now an intermediate one. If you want to do a bunch of students in a row, you click on them, you press bulk action, and then you press assign to class. And uh, you can do uh, the same type of thing. Um, there are other options uh, that you can do there as well uh, in, uh, through bulk actions. You can also reset a password. If you reset a password, because we can't show passwords in, this, in the page, so if you lose it, you have to reset it. You would write in your password there, and that would reset the password for everybody that you selected. You can also archive a student. Archiving is sort of like a soft delete of a student. It prevents them from logging on, but they still exist. If you archive a student, they're going to end up in your archived roster, which is basically inactive students who can't do anything, but you still have them floating around. If you ever want to restore them, you would click on them, press bulk actions, and you can either restore them or permanently delete them. Once you do this from here, they're completely lost. So this was a tutorial for uh, the roster page of Conjugamos 2.0. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and have a good day.